Hi guys, it's Friday again, you know what that means, it's beer time, uh, this is my Santa's winter warmer, smells absolutely delicious, that is amazing, that is beautiful, right, today is brew day, <laughs> I love brew days, absolutely love them. And I'm going to do the Razorback IPA Festival Beer. Right. Um, I saw this ages ago, so I thought I'd give it a go. So I bought it about a month ago or so. Uh, so I was thinking of when I could brew this I was going to leave it until the summer but I thought sod it I don't care it's another beer I'm just going to do it um, so anyway I looked it up on um, YouTube and there's not a lot of people that seem to be doing this uh, brew um, Hanworth Homebrew he done one so I sent him a message and I asked what, what it come out like and he said he binned it he, he said um, basically I have to um, keep an eye on the ferm fermentation and all sorts and so anyway that got me worried so I actually looked into it and a lot of people were saying that you have to um this ferments for three weeks two, two to three weeks maybe longer which to be honest worried me a bit because um you got you got to add some hops into it um and they just said basically just chuck it in chuck the hops in as you're fermenting um and i was gonna see these in this, these were the instructions that i was gonna follow um i thought i'll buy this kit and i'll follow it to the you know the instructions to the t but um after sort of got that message from hamworth homebrew um i've really thought my plan i'm gonna do it my way because at the moment um I'm on a roll. Um, all my beers and cherry brandy also. That's turned out beautiful. And if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it, boys. So I'm going to do it my way. Um, I'm going to leave. In the, uh, I'm going to ferment it for a week. Um, see how that goes. And then I'm going to chuck in the hops but I'm going to use a muslin bag I'm not going to just chuck them in so I can just take them out later I know they're um, pellet hops they will break up but the majority of it hopefully will keep in stay in the muslin bag so yeah um, that's what I'm going to do but I mean if it's still going a good and after a week then I think I might wait a little bit longer to um, add in the hops I mean instructions are there to be broken you know, I don't want to follow instructions all the time. Uh, I'll do what I like, you know. So, I'm brewing it. Nobody else, me, so my rules apply. But anyway, um, it won't be a full video because although everybody loves brew days, um, trying to get every single little bit of a brew day just takes up so much space on my iPhone, which is annoying, but... I have now got um, a new notebook, um, I haven't played with it yet, so hopefully I'll be able to do some videos on there, um, so things might change, but anyway, right, let's go in there and have a look at what we've got to do, cheers, oh, and it's only half ten in the morning, so not too bad, and this is quite, it's clearing up. It was quite cloudy after being in the bow for two months. Santa went warmer, but it's clearing up. It's good. Still got a big bloody head on it when I pour it, but that's the drum. Oh, I think that's the drum tap on my king keg. Um, they, every, anybody who's got a drum tap knows the score. Um, so yeah, anyway, right. Let's go next door and see what goes on. Right then, here's the ingredients that I'll be using today. Um, that's the liquid. Malt extract, it's 1.5 kilograms in each, so you've got two of them. Then you've got that's 650 grams of dextrose, 
you've got the hot pellets and another hot pellets doesn't say I'll have to look them up uh, priming sugar that are going to barrel uh, you got the beer yeast I will use this beer yeast because um, to be honest I keep buying all these different um, yeasts but I, I'm getting a collection of these if I don't use these then I've got shitloads and I don't want to chuck them away so I'm going to use this um, anyway I've got this this is supposed to when you rack your beer you're supposed to put this over your racking cane um, I ain't going to bother with that shit um because i'm a pro nearly <laughs> and starts out and the most important thing that you need right to brew or on a brew day is a beer so yeah i'm gonna keep topping that up so anyway right let's get on with it right just a little tip um you probably all know this anyway but um once you've finished fermenting your beer um, and then you transfer it into a barrel or bottles or whatever. Um, what I do is I clean it, clean the fermenter straight away, and I also sanitise it. Um, might be a bit of a waste of star sand, but I mean it's sanitised. And then when I come to do another brew, I sanitise it again. So I'm sort of being really careful, really. Um, so yeah, it's only a little tip. But yeah, so that's that done. I've uh, got um, three, three litres, yep, yeah, three litres of water in there. It's going to be boiling in a minute. Um, I'm going to stick them in the sink in a minute to heat up. And then off we go. And drink more beer. Sanitise, people. You gotta sanitize. Really, really important. It might ache and be uncomfortable for a while, but you gotta bloody do it. <sighs> Keep on doing it. Oh, nearly done. Come back to that in a minute. Whew. Right, sanitise now. Leave the foam in there, boys, if you're using star sand. I put it all in there, so I've got my um, airlock and spoon and everything else that needs to be sanitised is in there. I'm going to dump my beer in there in a minute. Right, next. Right then, they're in there soaking, getting hot. Uh, I've just found out the hops are called... Simcoe, Centennial and Summit. I've not tried these before, so that's going to be very interesting. Right, nearly there. Just waiting for the water to boil and then I can crack on with getting this done. Sometimes there's nothing else to do but drink beer when you're waiting for everything else to sort itself out. You know, I'm just waiting for the water to boil. What can you do? Can't just stand around like a muppet. You gotta drink some beer. Gorgeous. Mm. Oh yeah, that smells bloody lovely. Let's try and get it all out. I think I'm going to have to add some water to that. Hot water. Oh yeah. This is the best bit. Anyway. It just takes forever. Yeah, 
grab my sanitized spoon. Try and get as much out as I can. Right, let's stop that for 10 minutes. Fill it up with some hot water. And I'll do the same to this one. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Another little trick is to um, fill up um, your bottles of water the night before so they're freezing cold. Uh, so I'm going to dump a few of them into this. Look at that, it's bloody lovely. Bring it on. Right, that's the finished version then. Uh, I've brewed it to 23 as they instructed. I'll uh, just take the hydrometer reading and, and then see what the OG is then. Right then. Um, temperature is at 20, which is ideal. That's the first for me. Uh, now this is the best bit. Oh, I absolutely love this. Oh, that's a kind of a dark yeast. Mmm, that smells beautiful. Right. That's all in. That's 10 grams of beer yeast. They say stir it in. Um, I'm not going to change the habit of a lifetime. I said I'm going to do it my way. I don't stir my yeast in. I've had no problems. I mean, Santa's went to warm up. Fucking awesome. Um, this is, and this is the first for me. I've got two brews on. At the same time, that's my spicy herb ale. It's cracking on, doing its business, but yeah, right. Um, okay, I'm going to put the lid on there quick. Right then, uh, I've done a hydrometer reading. The original gravity is 1050, which is amazing. This beer is supposed to be um, a 5.7% ale. Well, we'll see what happens, but yeah, it's looking very pale coloured but yeah right I'm gonna do a quick taste test in a second right then taste test time brew day was relatively easy actually uh, not really stressful but yeah right it smells really nice right let's dive in Oh man, that tastes beautiful. Um, quite frankly, my brews are tasting better and better and better. Um, I think it's just practice, guys, isn't it? Um, I've been doing this just, well, I don't know, yeah, just under a year now making beer. Well, actually, no, it's a, it's a year. Um, doing YouTube videos is well under a year but I mean yeah if I made this a year ago it wouldn't taste anything like this but yeah man mmm that's cracking that is bloody gorgeous oh, I'm not just saying that that is beautiful look I'm even going to drink some more not much left bloody hell man I'm getting good at this. Oh God, this is this. My last five, six brews been amazing. Oh. Anyway, right. Eager to see how this turns out. Right. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.